Hello everyone and welcome to the quickest and simplest and easiest guide to get the Mug Record the JP version running on a PC, which in my opinion is the best way to experience the game um, on an emulator. So I will give you first off the best emulator for this, for specifically for Mug Record. Um, I tried it on Bluestacks, didn't work. I tried it on Nox, wasn't that great. The, first, the best one that I found was Memo, so I'm going to put a link in the description how to download Memo. And also, by the way, some people might be wondering why this is a re-upload, it's because there were some problems that some people were having and I wanted to make sure I have one video where all of these problems were addressed that had every single step as uh, detailed as possible. So once you've downloaded Memo, first off, uh, next up, the, the, uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go to the installation page on the wiki. There's also going to be a link for that in the description. And we will need two things here. First off, we will need to download and install the easy install right here. Which I'm going to do. Uh, I deleted it from my file system so I can show it a, as a new install. And then you go to APK Pure, for example. And what you want to do is you want to um, go to this link directly and you will get to the front page of, for Micro Record JP. But don't download it just through this. You will need a specific version. So you will click on the versions button, go to the newest version that there is. And here's the important bit there's two variants. Uh, one of these variants is version 8 and one of these version, uh, versions is version 7 as you can see at the very end they're for different architectures but you see one of the architectures is v8 the other one is v7 we want v7 and if you click, click on download at the beginning it just downloaded the version 8 version 8 will probably not work so we want to get version 7 down here download the Oh, sorry, download this. I've already done this. It's 40 megabyte, which is quite a lot for uh, German internet. So you download it right there. And once you've done all of that, it's time to start our memo. I've done here, I have here the memo multiple instance manager. And on here, you will give, uh, put down a new version. If you start memo for the very first time, you probably won't even get the memo multiple instance manager and it will just tell you, hey, come on, install memo. But if you are on the Memo Multiple Instance Manager, which you can get, um, which is, it's just part of Memo, it's just part of the regular installation, you will click on New, Android 5.1, the uh, version that you want. It's possible if you just install Memo without checking your version that it installs Android 7. Despite what the wiki says, don't install version 7, install version 5.1. Once you've installed in version 5.1, we're going to start Memo for the very first time, which might take just a small while, it's okay. Uh, it does still go rather fast on my PC. So we will be on the Memo 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 Guide. Close the guide. More importantly, there's a, just a handful of things that we need, might need to check. In theory, everything is fine right now as it is, but I'm going to just make just a few checks just to see that nothing is going wrong. First off, you go into security, scroll down and make sure that unknown sources is checked so it looks like this it should be checked by default but just make sure that it is um, this is one step that we need to do some people have also said that it doesn't work correctly if either either the uh, settings for their uh, cpu are too low should still work on lower settings but even so i would recommend going to higher settings like top probably um, the best thing that you can get uh, and then also something that some people have uh, worried about is if you go down to where is it uh, the profile you will you might want to select Google Pixel 2 some people have told me that it only work for them on Google Pixel 2 doesn't matter uh, for the most part if it's just a Google phone I guess so we're going to switch to that you don't even have to restart it's already done so at this point we're going to have to install the APK so I'm going to uh, maneuver to my APK that I downloaded it and for this it will be the Magareco installer the easy installer that we have downloaded open that and now the easy installer will be installing, which also going to take just a few seconds. And then once it is um, installed, we can go into it and we will need to select the APK. However, before we can do this, we need to make sure the APK is actually part of Memo first. In order to do that, we click the folder button on the right, go to a Windows folder. And this is the Windows folder where you need to put your uh, APK in. So I'm going to go to where I downloaded the APK to. This is the one I downloaded. Put it into this folder. And then we're done with this part. That's basically all you have to do. Uh, and then when you are uh, told to select your um, folder, you go into File Manager. It should be st uh, on standard on zero and then download. So just go click on, click on download right there. You can see the uh, APK is right around the corner and this install should work. So if you get to the screen where it says installing, installing, and then it actually it says at the end, error, didn't install the app. 
it just says did not install the app, then you probably got the wrong architecture version. As I told you earlier, you want the version 7 architecture, not the version 8 architecture. Make sure you worry, you look at that when you download the APK. Um, of course, it, like I said, if you do get um, an update for the version, you once again go through the steps of going to the APK Pure website, for example, downloading the newest version, but then also when you download the, download the newest version, make sure you are on the right architecture v7. Uh, and then you also go once again for easy install, go through the same procedure and it will update your mug record install. Basically, this is all you have to do. If you go to this screen and it says something like uh, exposed app or something, um, then you have the wrong Android version. You need to be, uh, like as I showed, showed you earlier on the Memo multiple instance manager, you need to be on uh, ins uh, on Memo version, not Memo, Android version 5.1, something like that. But yeah, once you've done all of this, it just pops up and there you go. You've ready to play Magyar Record JP version. Time to play some despair. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Hit that subscribe button and uh, my first part of the playthrough of Magyar Record JP is going to come up hopefully rather soon and I'll see you guys next time.